I think this is the most beautiful city in Europe. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. My plan was to start this video in a cafe with us drinking coffee, but we struck out on the first two cafes we went to. So we're hoping third time's the charm. Please be open, please be open, please be open. Nice. This is St. Michael's Church. At 262 feet tall, this is the second highest church in Romania after the Black Church in Brasov. But that's not all. This is a more unique church because it has changed denominations at least five times. Look how much they love King Matthias because they even put his horse's balls. Can you guys see that? Maybe it's like a really special horse. They definitely took their time. Now that we're, you know, wetting our appetite with the beauty of Cluj, let's actually whet our appetite with some nice Transylvanian food. Barzazi? Barzari? It's been open since the communist era. Like, it opened in the late 60s, and they're famous for ham and cabbage. And if you're new to the channel, you may not know how much I love cabbage, but I love cabbage. He really does love cabbage. I got, because I wanted to be a little different, and try something different, just got potatoes and the roasted pork. I'm going with the pork first, wow. I was cut, I was able to cut through that so easily. Really salty, which I don't mind. Side of potatoes. It's like sliced potatoes with cream cheese or maybe sour cream and really really nice it reminds me of uh, a milk bar in poland like the home cooked style food it's good barja a la cluj it's this smoked ham and cabbage so let's try the cabbage first it's so creamy it's almost like cheesy it kind of tastes like pizza i know that sounds weird but it, it like tastes like a really cheesy, tomato-y, rich pizza. I think there's meat inside here. There's like meat, onion. Let's try the ham. Yeah, really salty. It's like a little, a little cold, but it's not bad. They brought us a pepper, so let's give it a try. Mild, very mild. I'm just stalling at this point. It just tastes like a pepper not really getting any of the spice. Do you use this as like a palate cleanser? Do they just want to show off how big their peppers are? Let me know. The buildings you're gonna see in Cluj may look kind of like German or Austrian, and there's a reason for that. Because Cluj was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and so they brought architects from Vienna, and they built a lot of the city, very Central European vibe. And I don't know if Romanians consider themselves part of Central Europe or Eastern Europe. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm gonna guess Central Europe. I think this is the most beautiful city in Europe. I've been to a lot of cities in Europe and I'm not saying that lightly, but look at this. Look at this. I just said that I think this is the most beautiful city in Europe. Yeah, this is insane. I had no expectations, you know, coming here, doing this Transylvania tour. This city, Cluj, has just blown me away. I don't want to even say hidden gem. It's like the second biggest city in Romania. But, you know, as an American, I knew nothing about Cluj. It's never brought up. Many doggos here. I think we should try and pet as many as we can. There's a party happening. Get in there. I can't dance. I danced to the beat of my own drum, guys.
guys, this park has everything. I'm trying to focus so hard right now. Oh, we're not bougie. We're kluji. You said you liked it earlier. Cluj is definitely my favorite city so far in Romania and on this tour. And I feel like we just barely scratched the surface, but really young, really clean, really hip, lots of art, lots of culture. My favorite thing was walking through where that fountain was and that huge church. Just all the architecture is just so beautiful. This is day five in the books. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.